Aloha, residents of Maui County. Right now, we are at a crucial time in our county's history. There's an attempted coup going on from offshore corporate interests trying to influence our local county elections. I mean, it is different than the coup that happened in 1893 that was really forced upon by the U.S. Marines and also a militia supported by the plantations. Although it's not the same type of force used, they are looking at a force of money to influence your subconscious thinking. So be aware that what they're doing is the same in that they're looking at exploiting the islands, also subjugating in many ways the residents and really extracting all the wealth for their personal profits. We must put an end to this. So become informed. Let's look at what's happening. And there's one large super PAC that's based in Reno, Nevada, that is pouring $120,000 into our local election. And now when you investigate and look at, well, wait a minute, who's in charge? What is this about? The person in charge is named Grant David Gillum. And he has started his career in 1998 to support Big Tobacco. <laughs> his reputation that if you need bills killed or elect candidates to support corporate control, Gillum is a one-stop corporate hitman. Their stance is to endorse the exact opposite of the Maui Pono network on all the issues. Now, when a reporter asks them, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you voting this way? Gillum would not respond and would not respond to their questions. The only person in that organization that would is their corporate lawyer who's based in San Francisco, California. And I'll read you his quote of how he responded to their decisions. I'm just the attorney. The decision making is not my purview. Now, this is in contrast to the Maui Pono Network, who spent over 3,000 hours evaluating all of the candidates for Maui County seats and also looking at the seven charter amendments. And it became overwhelmingly clear who the best candidates were when we looked at all the different information from the interviews, which you can see yourself. We have 28 of them listed on MauiPonoNetwork.org. So you can go right there and you can get a good perspective of why we are voting this way. We also looked at facts, like how do they vote? So look at our report card that we have here. And notice all the people in the lower level grades. Those are the ones that this organization and those other super PACs are supporting. Again, they want to take our top progressive leaders and they want to get them out of office. Now, it's so important that we become informed of the facts like the report card so that we can make informed decisions. Take a look at the Charter Amendment, for example. Voting yes will support transparency, reduce cronyism, empower the citizens, address key needs, and will save 10% of the operating budget. And what is their stance? We can't afford it. Wait a minute, we can't afford not to do this. That's the real issue. And again, make informed decisions. And it's, this is crucial right now in our community. If you've not received your ballot at this point in time, you can go to the Wailuku Community Center and you can register and vote on the same day starting October 20th. The time's from 8 to 4.30, you can come in there also, on the final day of elections, November 3rd, they'll be open with extended hours. So it's important, very important, that you look at the issues, look at the facts. Don't fall for this different types of propaganda and repetitive messages that are not about facts, that are about someone in Nevada who doesn't know anything about what we're doing telling you what to vote for. Be aware, vote for the Ohana candidates and also the seven charter amendments for a bright future for Maui County. Mahalo.